Come on! We're almost there. Odette and Yuri take shelter in a nearby temple. The entire village is in chaos, as the omens seek to devour anyone in their path. Odette barricades the door, then tends to Yuri as she always has. But unlike before, Yuri is pregnant. You need rest. I felt a kick. I must be getting restless in all the excitement. He? That's right. You're in for a boy. What makes you so sure he won't be a girl? I've got a feeling about these sort of things. I bet that little guy senses your danger. He probably wants to burst through and be your hero. I would never allow it. It's a mother's duty to protect her child, not the other way around. Even if tonight kills me, my last breath will be his to have. You're right. A mother must protect her child. Is that so? An omen makes itself known from the shadows. It's much larger than any other omen previously seen, boasting large wings. It licks its lips as Odette now realizes why the temple was empty. Can you protect your child from the soldiers? Whoever you are, open this door immediately. By order of the bridgement guard. They're not here to protect you. Once they breach your barricade, they'll massacre us all! You're wrong. We're not omens. How true. But your food for omens. A military strike to eradicate the village. Clever girl. That has to be a lie. Who would give an order like that? Who indeed? Someone may be more worthy to be an omen than I. We truly are a cursed people. I suppose you're going to eat us before they make it through, aren't you, monster? Monster? <laughs> you can call me Havoc. I could eat you both, but it wouldn't make for a decent snack. Besides, I still would be too weak to face the soldiers. Spared by an omen, I have seen it all. You didn't let me finish. I'll be too weak to face the soldiers in my current form. We omens live to devour and devour to live. I have a particularly large appetite. It's a mundane cycle. And what I'm sick of. I want to experience my power without the constant torment of a hunger. Human, I want to make a deal with you. I want to initiate a bloodbind. Not a chance. Any deal with an omen can't be better than our odds now. What exactly is a bloodbind? Odette! A rare sort of arrangement. An omen embeds in a human host and takes full control, sucking on a sustaining life force. I'd get a body that doesn't require feeding along with use of my full power. As for you, you get a slow, maddening, and agonizing death as you drift away, a slave to your own body. That's just sick. No way, Weed. There's more. As I said, it's a rare arrangement. Want to know why? It's because the human host has to willingly accept the deal once it's offered. But if the deal is rejected, then the omen dies instantaneously. And guess what? This is my offer. There it is, human. The pits of our desperate situation. I die, you die, or we all die! <laughs> <laughs> the soldiers are close to breaking down the barricade. Will you listen to that music? The song of hopelessness? So, which will it be? Do we have a deal? I suggest you hurry, otherwise the soldiers will decide for us! No deal. Odette, maybe we can reason with the guards, talk with them, and... If I do this... You must promise no harm will come to Yuri. No, don't! A mother must protect her child. Deal. Deal. Havoc explodes, and his blood violently enters her bed as Yuri watches helplessly in horror. The blood bind completes as the soldiers enter. What, what kind of omen is that? Ebony is unfazed as she orders the attack. In a matter of seconds, all the soldiers are torn limb from limb. 
Havoc stands over the defeated Ebony. Besides her now missing an arm, she's still intact. Does it hurt, human? Let me hear it. Havoc stumps Ebony repeatedly as her vision fades to black. Oh, how I love having a body. Oh, dead. Stop it, please. Don't look so upset, little Yuri. She can still hear you. She just can't do anything about it. I just... I refuse to believe that. Odette, wake up! Wake up, wake up! Odette, can you hear us? You look so pathetic. I should kill you and put you out of your misery. But I did make a deal. That's right! I didn't make any claims of the child. Maybe if I rip it from you fast enough, you'll survive. Let's find out! <laughs> Havoc lunges at Yuri, but his arm stops. He feels his arm weakening and trembling. He can't strike Yuri. What's this? It seems her deal was stronger than I realized. Ebony cuts Havoc's arm clean off. Does it hurt, monster? Good, let me hear it. What is your name, human? Ebony, Lieutenant of the Bridgemont Guard. A pleasure. Why don't we get started now? The sight of your other arm irritates me, and I'd love to introduce it to my blade. Havoc takes flight and leaves Cedric Village. Ebony notices Yuri. Forgive me, but I do have my orders. Before Ebony can strike, Yuri screams. Her baby is coming. After what seems like an eternity, Ebony has helped Yuri deliver her baby boy. The process has taken a large toll on Yuri, who's no longer long for this world. She reaches out for her baby. My little hero. Yuri's hand doesn't reach him before she gives her last breath. Ebony sets the baby down. She knows she still has a mission to do and reaches for her sword. Ebony raises the blade, shaking all over. Can she really do this? Just then, Havoc's dislocated arm springs forward and latches onto Ebony's empty arm socket, the omen arm bonding with her flesh. The pain is so immense that Ebony faints. Sometime later, Ebony is giving her final report of the mission to Commander Asura. Is that your final report? Yes, sir. Very well. Dismissed. Something wrong, Lieutenant? I... I failed the mission. I failed you. I'm sorry. Quit your crying. What would the men say, seeing the Lieutenant this way? The mission was still a success. And no one could have been prepared for the situation you encountered. As far as I'm concerned, you're still alive. That's what matters now. Well done, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. But is your decision final on it? Ebony inspects her new omened arm. Seeing as how it won't come off, I'll make use out of it. That's not what I meant, the other matter. Yes, I'm sure. It's life, nor yours will be easy. Sidruk people are cursed, the, their blood constantly sought out by omens. Cursed, maybe. But this child saved me from becoming something I'm not. All things considered, I feel more human than ever. I see. So, have you named it? Yes. His name is Hero. <laughs> <laughs>